So hello besties, how are we doing? I hope you are well. Welcome back to my channel. If you do not know, my name is Ollie and today's video, we are doing my April favourites. I can't believe we're in May already. Life is going so quick at the moment and I'm not complaining because I'm loving life, but like, just slow down. So can you just calm down? It's going quick. Let's just jump straight into the video and let me show you what I have been loving throughout April. This the first thing actually was part of an ad, but this is not ad at all. This is like very much a genuine love and favourite. Like, I actually do need to legally say this was an ad, but this this product was for an ad, but this little um, moment here is not an ad. Like, I'm not being paid to say this or anything. Like, this is purely my own real opinion. I got sent this candle from Birthdates Candles, okay? And it's a blend for those born on February 24th. So that's my birthday. So this company, they basically make candles, obviously, and other, like, astrology stuff. So if you're into astrology, definitely check them out. They make candles for your birthday and your start sign. So obviously, I'm born on February 24th. So they've made this candle for me. So that means they have customised the scents for scents which work with your, like, birthday, start sign, all that. So mine is Jasmine, Cedarwood, and Thyme. And... It is so fresh, it is so nice, like, it's like a very springy smell, like, it's not a cosy smell, like a vanilla warm smell, it's like a fresh, bright, summer's day smell, and it's really nice. And it also tells you, like, your style, what econ you are, I don't know what that means, decan, uh, your ruling number, so mine's six, a planet that rules you, it tells personal birthday uh, star signs, like, strengths, weaknesses, on the back it gives you, like, tarot card reading and what things mean about your star sign, like, a bit, like, a big rundown of your star sign kind of thing. And it's just really good, it's really cool, it's made out of coconut and soy wax, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I burnt it the other night and, oh, it smells amazing, so I'm obsessed with this candle right now, and I kind of don't want to burn it because I love how it looks, but I also love how it smells, so I really want to burn it and smell it but I don't know I, I, I just might order like 2400,000 candles from them because they are really really good and they smell amazing and it's just really cool I love the idea of having like a candle made for my star sign because you guys know how much I love astrology I, I wear the Pisces symbol every day on my neck and it's literally also on this candle so hello how cool is that so then the next physical favorite is this cup and you might be like only what and basically this is the new molly filter by molly makeup and i love cups i have a starbucks one i've got like black one i've got like just loads of different cups okay and as soon as i saw molly may bring this out on filter i was like i have to get that because one i love the color this kind of like nude tanny color is very me like i love this color i have a lot of clothes in this color and it's like a really nice material too like it's like matte and like shiny and it's just really nice it just says filter by Molly May and it's just plain everywhere else. Comes with a straw, obviously, and I'm just like drinking from this non-stop. And like I am someone who drinks a lot of water, so having like an aesthetic and really pleasing cup really makes me happy. Because I do drink a lot. Like I am known at like work and with my friends and family for drinking a lot of water. Like a lot. Like my bladder. My bladder? Not a joke. No joke. She needs help. I absolutely love this. And it's also just like a really good size. Like it goes in so deep and like. I don't know, it's just like a great size, so. so yeah, obsessed with that. Okay, so moving on to the final physical favourite, which are these. Smile! So these are the TikTok famous slippers. Now, if you've not seen these on TikTok, what have you been watching? Because I see these everywhere on TikTok, and these were on, um, do you know Katie Lee, the TikToker? Uh, we all know Katie Lee, I love Katie Lee. She was in a TikTok live shop, and I was just watching it, and I saw these, and I was like, oh, fine, I'll buy them, I'm like, fine, <laughs> go on, man. This was actually another, like, this was like a 2 a.m. purchase. Like, if I'm up late and I'm shopping, I'm gonna buy something. I, I don't know what it is, I've got, like, when it comes, like, past 12 o'clock, I'm a shopaholic, and if I'm shopping, I will buy whatever I see, and it's an issue. So, but they're really comfortable, they're really nice, like, they're very, very fluffy, like, I think they're meant to be like a dupe version of Justin Bieber's brand Drew. I think that's what they're meant to be. Or they're just smiley faces. I don't really know. But they actually are really comfy. And I've got a lot of slippers and footwear and like house footwear. But these are a vibe in my opinion. And I really like them. They're living on my feet rent free. <gasps> okay, so now moving on to a next favourite, which by the time this goes out, I imagine might be out of cinema or going out of cinema, and I spoke about this in a few vlogs ago, but I just I need to uh, this is my favourites video and you guys are gonna be like why are you telling us what we meant to do with this information? This has been more than an obsession with me. Like, you guys may know that I get obsessed with things at this point. Like, I really get fixated on things. But this one has been a strong one. Okay, this is Sonic the Hedgehog. That blue little hedgehog. <laughs> so, uh, so like, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 came out in cinema a while ago now. And I went to watch it the weekend it came out. And so obsessed. So obsessed with it. Like, I watched Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Actually, only, like... 
a few days before I watched Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and I was like, how have I never seen Sonic the Hedgehog before? So I grew up loving Sonic the Hedgehog, so when saw the film come out originally, I was like, hmm, doesn't look that good and like whatever and it's probably going to ruin it for me. But then one night I was like, I'm going to watch it. Okay, so we watched it and then I was obsessed. I was absolutely obsessed. And then I saw that Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was coming out like two days after I was watching it. I was like, booking my tickets right now. So I went to cinema to watch it. I love a bit. Then I downloaded all the games possible on my phone and now, now like, if I'm not watching the cartoon one, like to get to, like at night time and stuff, but it's my new show now because I've got nothing to watch right now, which I'll get onto in a minute because ooh, but like I'm watching like the Sonic X, which is like the old issue that I grew up on, and also the game. Like I'm playing Sonic Racers, so we can play together. If you guys want to play Sonic Racers with me, hit me up because you can like connect with like is it the arcade or the Apple game? I don't I don't know what it's called, but like you can connect with people and like race each other, and uh, I'm just obsessed. Like I'm obsessed. Guilty Sonic the Hedgehog, obsessed over here. Like. Who am I? Am I a 22 year old playing Sonic the Hedgehog? Uh, yes I am. Do I have a problem with it? Mm, no, 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 no problem here. I am obsessed. So then the final favourite, which I binge watched in I think like a day or two. So this one, it's a really good show. It's a really good Netflix show. It's funny, it's drama, it's... There is like murder, but it's not like dark murder, like... Mm. Let me try that again. So it's like a really funny show. It's kind of like a dramedy. Yeah, it's a dramedy. There's drama, it's comedy. There's love and murder and why not say what it is? What? Like, might be easier. It's called Ginny and Georgia. So, so it follows a mum, Georgia, and her daughter, Ginny. And like, there's also a brother slash son, but like, he's a child, so, you know. But basically, it follows those two. And it's just like, it's a really good, feel good, feel good. Hmm, is that the right word? It's a really good, easy watch, basically, and I really enjoyed it. It's really funny. It's really dramedy. It's there's definitely a season two coming, and it's just like I was just hooked. Like I was hooked, lined, and sinkered. Like like hello. Like, I was just obsessed with it, basically. And and if you if you're looking for a new show to watch and you like things like Gossip Girl, Pretty Little Liars, Friends, Glee, like that kind of like genre or show you will like this. Like, just trust me, it's really good, really funny, and I watched it in like a day or two. My best friend Meals like chucked me onto it. Mm, couldn't recommend it more now that like, I'm telling everyone to watch it, and it's just really, really good. Although there is one character, and I'm not gonna say who, because I don't want to sway anyone's opinion, but he is the single-handedly biggest ick in the world. I don't want to say anymore, I don't want to spoil anything, I don't want to give anyone's opinions and, you know. But this one character is just, oh, like it just takes ick to another level. It's just not okay in any way. But definitely go and watch it, it's on Netflix, Judy and Georgia, check it out. Season two, I think it's coming soon, it feels like it should be coming soon. That brings me to the end of my April favourites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely, definitely check out Ginny and Georgia. It is so good, so good. And also, from me to you, like a genuine ask, please download Sonic Racers and let's race each other because it's so fun when you're playing against people you know or like talking to or whatever. Please download it and like, in, like DM me on Instagram so you've downloaded it and this is my username and we'll just race like and I'll probably beat you because I'm really good. I am very, very good. So be prepared to be beaten. But yeah, hit me up if you download it and let's play together. But anyway, apart from that, that is all. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash a like button, subscribe to the channel down below and I will see you very soon with another video. Thank you.